Okay, the front of the house really needs uh, tidying up. So next project's gonna be to clean off all this paint and repaint the front of the house. Karcher jet washer, low powered one, just for getting the initial paint off. That's the Karcher K2 compact jet washer, probably the lowest powered Karcher there is. As you can see, it's doing a great job of getting the paint off, much better than I expected. So if I go over the whole front of the house, should get this uh, ready for painting once it's dried out. So now just taking off the old post box. As you can see, the jet washing is going really well. It's peeling off uh, at least two or three layers of paint. Uh, where it hasn't peeled off, it's stuck on. So we're gonna leave that on and then undercoat and overcoat and then replace this letterbox with one we brought out, a British type one. Okay, just applying the undercoat, which is like a PVA sealer really, to ensure that the exterior paint goes on well. Um, quite easy to put on. So the front of the house is all primed, um, letting that all dry for a day. Just noticed a few clouds in the sky, first one we've seen here in about, I think we've been here for 12 days now. Um, you can see this paint, different colour, but this, the primers have all gone on well. Like I said, we we'll give that one day to dry. We're going to look at these um, little cracks in cement and try and repair those before we paint them. And it's just ready for painting, hopefully. And um, we've got a new post box we want to put back up. Um, a red one with a British flag on it. So hopefully that'll look good against the off-white paint we've chose. So we're going to go along the house, just fill in little dents, the little cracks in the wall that's formed over the years. There's a quite a few around this area, the electrical area. Uh, but overall, not too many. Just need to smooth it all out with some cement uh, before we paint it. I think it'd be well worthwhile. Just filling in these little imperfections. We don't mind a few imperfections but do the best job we can. So that's the front of the house tidied up a bit with a little bit of cement. Uh, probably going to be more we need to do but we've just done a little bit for now. Um, just going to let that dry and then tomorrow I think we'll, we'll be painting that. Painting the window frames in this Nuance Extreme Flexi Paint. But it seems quite thin, so it's kind of probably going to need a few coats of paint. So the outside of the house now fully ready for the white colour we're going to put on the front. It's not quite white, it's an off-white. Um, as you can see, everything's been rubbed down, cemented, all the little cracks cemented where possible. Painted around the windows. We are going to paint around the door, but at the moment there's still some cement on there. Quite a few cracks appeared when we were clearing that down. So uh, next stage will be the white paint going on. 
paint is going on really well with a roller and a paintbrush. I'm using the roller because I'm a bit messier than Jackie, who's using the paintbrush to draw the edge in at the moment. Uh, this is the pot of paint. Which was just over 40 euros for 10 litres. It says it'll do 100 square metres, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, it's coming up lovely. It's changed the house already. There's the two dogs, next door's dog and our dog, wrestling. And it's January 2022, and we've got shorts on. It's lovely. Just supplied it with a roller. Um, I have to go over it quite a few times, different angles, just to get the paint right in. But it is going on lovely. Hopefully it might only need one coat, but probably a little bit of touching up where some of the other paint shows through. But so far, it's going really well. Going around the edges. It's lovely thick paint. Goes in the little dimples of the cement. It's going really well. So the painting is finished. We're absolutely delighted how the house looks. Um, all in all, cost about 100 euros in paint. Um, the exterior paint, undercoat, met some metal paint around the windows, the blue paint. Probably got a little bit of touching up to do. We've repainted the door white, fitted our British post box and completely transformed the look of it. So I think we've gone from the worst looking house in the street to not the worst. So we're really, really, really pleased. A lot of work, but well worth it. The lights outside our house. Quite hard seeing this light, but uh, looking lovely. <laughs>